Hey, it's Nikki and you are watching Nikki Knows Best. I am back today with another topic from the Savvy Sexy Social Vlog Every Day in August Challenge and today's topic is what bores you? <clears throat> and when I read the question, and I'm like, what bores you? I was like, this topic. But <laughs> to, to really think about it, um, the first thing that came to my mind, I guess, after that first answer is most people. Seriously, most people, and I don't mean like when, you know, you just go into the gas station and you walk past random people or you strike up a conversation with someone you meet in the store. Not that, like, after I meet people and maybe we go to hanging out a little bit more, people start to bore me. Like, I get bored of people very quickly, and I think it has something to do with OCD, <laughs> but I, I'm not sure if it does or not. I just maybe want to blame it on that. Just for, find some reason why most people bore me. And what I really need to do is accept that I'm not the problem. <laughs> I... I it sounds a little, I don't know, a little haughty, but I don't think I'm the problem. I just have certain things that I like, certain types of conversation that I like, and a lot of people can't give me that, so it bores me. And I'm not going to apologize for that. So, yeah, most people bore me. Uh, the second thing on my list was bad conversation, and that kind of just falls in line with most people because... I don't know I, I like to talk but I don't talk a lot and I don't talk a lot because I don't feel like there's a lot of people that I can talk to and have a good connection or a good conversation with I just don't mm, it's just not there like I'm cordial if somebody talks to me I'm not gonna you know act stuck up but I just I don't know what it is <laughs> conversation is a big thing to me communication is a big thing to me and you know not just like in a relationship with someone you love but communication in any relationship is vital and a lot of people don't really understand that they, they have problems with communicating either their feelings or what they're thinking or I don't know what it is but apparently I just talk too much and I'm in my feelings all the time because I'm very much so vocal about what I think and what I feel and I think that makes for good communication, but if, you, if you're if you communicating with someone who isn't communicating back, is it really communication? You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> it's just bad conversation, that's all I'm saying. If I'm getting a message, you know, trying to get a message to you and you really just ain't getting it, or your, your rebuttals are kind of slow, or... Maybe I don't feel like you're interested. Maybe you just look a little distracted. Maybe you're in your phone. But bad conversation, whatever the reason for bad conversation, I don't know what the reason for bad conversation is because I don't have bad conversations. Ask anyone who talks to me until I become mad at that person and then all of a sudden it's a bad conversation. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, so most people, especially like childish people or stuck up people, they bore me uh, and bad conversation bores me and lifetime movies I hate lifetime movies and it's crazy because almost every woman I don't think I know another woman maybe one other but I can't think like I just feel like maybe I've met someone in my lifetime who was like well you who was like well you know what I don't like lifetime movies either but I probably met someone and I just don't really remember them, but I really do feel like I'm the only person who does not like, well, the only woman who does not like Lifetime movies. I just can't do it. Like, even the most interesting one, I think the best Lifetime movie I've ever seen was the one where um, Taraji Henson is the mom and the dad, <coughs> the dad kidnaps the son. Like, he comes and get him for a visit or something and takes him off to China or something and there's nothing she can do about it that is like the best lifetime movie I've ever saw and I couldn't even sit through that whole movie I got up around like three quarters of the way through the movie instead of just finishing it it was just I don't know they lifetime movies are so long and then on top of being so long it's just especially the movies like about domestic violence and I just, 
I don't find that damsel in distress thing entertaining. Because a lot of the movies, like, if if the woman made a better decision, the movie would be over that quick. So, I don't, mm -mm. Lifetime movies bore me. That's all I'm going to say. So, another recap. People bore me. <laughs> like, I live alone. You would think I'm bored all the time, but I'm not. I'm cool. I love my company. I like me. Like, if I wasn't me, I would try to be my friend. You know, I would like me if I wasn't me. So, I have a good time with myself. I'm good company, even alone. I don't, I'm not bored when I'm alone. The only time I feel bored is when I'm around people. You know, so just people, conversation, and Lifetime movies. Other than that, I'm good. Like, I can make something entertaining. But if I'm around just a boring person or in a bad conversation or a Lifetime movie is on, I'm done. I'm going to shut down. I want to go to sleep. Pass me a blanket. That's just how I feel about it. So, I knocked out today's topic. Yay, me. This is my third vlog. And I've been having all types of ideas just come to me. But I'm really trying to stick to these prompts because I don't want to get ahead of myself. But I think I might just like maybe have a couple of days where maybe I make two videos for the day instead of just one. Because some days I may not drop a video. Like yesterday I didn't do a video because it was Sunday and I'm out with Jonah and... You know, this vlog just started and ain't making me no money. So, <laughs> you know, he, he comes first and we did the little family thing or whatever. But I might, you know, sometimes come with two videos in one day if I'm having something else on my mind that I want to talk about. So just be on the lookout for it. Thank y'all for watching. For anyone who subscribed so far, I do appreciate you. I see when you subscribe, so I know who you are for the most part. And thank you. I really do thank you. Like I pay attention to that stuff. People who show any type of support, I'm very appreciative of even the smallest thing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. The ones who congratulated me because of the first vlog I put up, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because it means you, you at least got to the end. If you didn't watch the whole video, you at least skipped to the end and you were interested enough to be to at least you know well let me browse to the end a little bit so thank you thank you thank you um hope y'all enjoy the videos i'll be back with more on my channel nikki knows best if you haven't if you haven't subscribed subscribe now and share a video tell somebody about it you know let's help me build my audience up so i don't get bored with this this vlogging thing i don't want to get bored with this so thanks for watching. See y'all next time. Bye.